Nationals and friends of St. Kitts and Nevis living overseas joined in the celebration of the country's 38th anniversary of its independence. In England, the St. Kitts and Nevis High Commission, based in London, coordinated a program of virtual messages from associations across England. Messages included those of the St. Kitts and Nevis Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mark Brantley, and the Federation's High Commissioner, His Excellency, Dr. Kevin Isaac. While extending congratulations to the diaspora, the Foreign Affairs Minister reflected on the COVID-19 pandemic as the country commemorated its independence under the theme Adapt, Diversify, Recreate, Independence 38. Our diaspora is an extension of our local population. I therefore also want to encourage you to ensure that you are vaccinated and that you follow the protocols put in place by the government in the country where you reside. The pandemic has caused us to adapt to new ways of life, and we have had to postpone some much-loved carnivals and festivals. These are necessary to protect and to preserve lives. My fellow citizens, I would like to thank you for your prayers, support, and encouragement throughout the last few years. The pandemic has denied us the privilege of having in-person contacts and activities, but I assure you, those days will come back. High Commissioner Dr. Isaac told fellow Kittishans and citizens that the country has been adapting to the pandemic environment and is resilient. With the downturn in the, in the international economy and the stagnation of the tourism market, which is very important to St. Kitts and Nevis, we have continued to adapt at home to fight the pandemic while protecting lives and livelihoods. We must acknowledge that despite limited resources, St. Kitts and Nevis has had one of the best records anywhere in tackling the COVID-19 pandemic. Various St. Kitts and Nevis associations also shared greetings virtually. My commissioner, nationals of the diaspora, friends and family around the world. If ever there was a year for this topic, it is this year. In Birmingham. My name is Charlene and I'm the chair and we would like to wish you a very happy 38th year of independence. And on behalf of the uh... Nevis Development Association in Leicester, as we celebrate Independence Day, let us thank God for how far we have come together as one people. In Luton and other Bedfordshire counties, I'm pleased to represent the members of our community as we celebrate the 38th Independence of our Federation. To you, one and all. So my name's Anita, I'm the chair of SANAS, St. Kitts and Nevis Association in Slough. Now I'm delighted to be here today just to talk about the theme for this year. This is our 38th year of independence. My name is Ethne and I am the chairperson of St. Kitts and Nevis London Association, Scanlon. Her Majesty is High Sheriff of Hertfordshire in 2021-22. I'd like to send my greetings to His Excellency, the High Commissioner, St. In Ottawa, Canada, a flag-raising ceremony was held in observance of the 30th anniversary of the country's independence. Glenn Brad reporting for SK Newsline.